Today, we're covering the truth about artificial sweeteners. Does sugar-free mean healthier to you? Do you reach for that diet soda or sugar-free snack thinking it's healthier? Let's dive into the dark side of artificial sweeteners. These sugar substitutes might promise fewer calories, but the hidden health risks could outweigh the benefits. Stick around to learn the real impact of these sweeteners on your health and discover healthier alternatives that won't compromise your wellness. Let's dive right in. Artificial sweeteners are everywhere, from morning coffee to diet sodas to baked goods to candy. Marketed as low-calorie or calorie-free, these sugar substitutes are designed to satisfy your sweet tooth without guilt. But what are they doing to your body? Let's check this out. First up is aspartame. You can find it in diet sodas, sugar-free gum, yogurt, tabletop sweeteners, and some medications. One of the known side effects are neurological. Aspartame breaks down into methanol and formaldehyde, substances that can potentially cause headaches, dizziness, and even seizures in sensitive individuals. Aspartame can also cause metabolic issues. Some studies suggest that aspartame may lead to weight gain and increased appetite by interfering with your body's ability to regulate hunger. Another side effect are mood disorders. There is evidence linking aspartame to mood swings, depression, and anxiety due to its effect on neurotransmitter function. Next on our list is sucralose. You'll find it in baked goods, ice cream, diet drinks, and sugar-free products. Sucralose can alter your gut microbiome, reducing beneficial bacteria, which is crucial for digestion and overall health. Despite being non-caloric, sucralose may trigger insulin release, disrupting your body's glucose regulation. There's an additional concern, which is environmental. Sucralose is not fully broken down by wastewater treatment plants, raising concern about its impact on aquatic life. Next on our list is saccharin. You'll find it in diet sodas, baked goods, jams, and jellies. Early studies in the 70s linked saccharin to bladder cancer in laboratory rats, which led to a warning label. While subsequent research on humans is less conclusive, the initial findings still raise concerns. Some individuals may experience allergic reactions to saccharin, which include headaches, breathing difficulties, and skin issues. Next on this list, asasulfame potassium or ACE-K. You can find ACE-K in diet sodas, protein shakes, sugar-free desserts, and gum. ACE-K has been shown to interfere with metabolic processes, potentially leading to weight gain and glucose intolerance. Some studies suggest that ACE-K may have carcinogenic properties, although more research is needed to confirm this. Next up on our list of artificial sweeteners is Neotame. You can find neotame in baked goods, dairy products, beverages, and packaged foods. Neotame is structurally like aspartame and carries similar risks, including neurotoxicity and metabolic issues. Because neotame is so sweet, it is used in very small amounts, often not listed on food labels, making it harder to avoid. Now let's talk about healthier alternatives to artificial sweeteners. While artificial sweeteners may seem like a quick fix for cutting calories, their potential health risks make them a questionable choice. Fortunately, there are natural alternatives that provide sweetness without the adverse effects. 
First up is stevia. Derived from the stevia plant leaves, it's a zero-calorie sweetener with a natural source. Studies have shown that stevia does not raise blood sugar levels, making it a safe choice for people with diabetes. Stevia has been found to have antioxidant properties contributing to overall health. Next on our list of good sweetener choices is monk fruit. Monk fruit extract is a natural sweetener that is low in calories and has a zero glycemic index. Research suggests that monk fruit has anti-inflammatory properties which can benefit your overall health. Another great feature of monk fruit is it is considered safe for everyone including children and pregnant women. Next on our list is erythritol. Erythritol is a sugar alcohol that contains about 6% of sugar calories, but 70% of the sweetness. Unlike sugar, erythritol does not contribute to tooth decay and may even inhibit the growth of oral bacteria. Erythritol is generally well tolerated and does not cause the digestive distress associated with other sugar alcohols. Next up is xylitol. Xylitol is known for reducing the risk of cavities and improving dental health. With a low glycemic index, xylitol is a good option for managing blood sugar levels. Xylitol does not feed harmful gut bacteria, making it a better choice for gut health than other sweeteners. Next on our list is raw honey. Raw honey contains vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants that contribute to overall health. Honey has natural antimicrobial properties which can help fight infections. While it does contain calories, raw honey is a natural sweetener that can be used in moderation for its health benefits. Please purchase your honey from local beekeepers, as much of grocery store honey is not authentic. It's clear that while artificial sweeteners might offer a calorie-free sweetness, they come with potential health risks that can't be ignored. From neurological effects and metabolic disruption to gut health concerns, the drawbacks of these synthetic substitutes make them a less appealing choice. Natural sweeteners like stevia, monk fruit, erythritol, xylitol, and raw honey provide safer and healthier alternatives. Thank you so much for watching this video today. We really do appreciate your kind support. Please share this video with someone you know that needs to know more about damaging artificial sweeteners and healthier alternatives. Also, Please leave us a comment below and let us know what types of videos you'd like to see in the future. Until next time, I will see you in the next video.